Good evening, everyone. Let me and my groupmates discuss with you about the chronology of milestone events in the early years. We will be focusing in the year 1837, and we will talk all about the places, the events, significant contributions, and the milestones of Edward Seaver. Edward Seaver. He was born on January 20, 1812 in Tennessee, France. He died on October 28, 1880 in New York. A French physician and educationist, a student of Ethard established a program for educating the feeble-minded at the Salpetriere in Paris. He is considered the first great teacher in the field of disabilities. He improves upon Ethard's method of sensory training. He was the first attempt at scientific classification of the mentally retarded. Sigrid's methods and educational programs were even more systematic than Ethard's. He saw the potential benefits of a physiological methods in treating mental retardation. Sigrid believed that mental deficiency was caused by weakness of nervous system and could be cured through motor and sensory training. The following are combined ideas of Ethard and Sigwin, which laid the foundation for present-day special education. First, we have individual instruction. It is a method of instruction in which there is a one-to-one -one teaching and self-paced learning based on the progressive goals leading to the curriculum objectives. Second, is carefully sequenced series of educational tasks. It is important to ensure that the learning objectives are met. Number three, emphasis on stimulation. Emphasis on stimulation is important for the growth or development of a child or person with special needs. Sensory stimulation will enhance the various skills of a child or person with special needs. It is very important for the development of infants and can be used effectively to improve the well-being of developmentally disabled adults, people with neurocognitive disorders, and older adults. Number 4. Meticulous Arrangement of the Child's Environment Meticulous arrangement of the child's environment will matter for the development or growth of the child. If you have a good classroom arrangement, it will inspire and encourage the children to easily interact with each other and develop various skills, including language and social behavior. And if you have a poor classroom arrangement, it will affect children's free movement and it may result into problem. Number five, immediate reward for correct performance. Immediate reward for good scores can boost student performance. Number six, tutoring and functional skills plan for, teach and support apprenticeship students to complete their functional skills qualifications. They will achieve this through delivering classroom and work place-based sessions as well as through small group, individual, and tailored one-to-one -one support. And lastly, number seven, believe that every child should be educated to the greatest extent possible.